This is just a quick video to show people who don't know of the existence of UPS battery backup systems. This video is to just show you what it does and why it's important to have. Your laptop has its own battery so you can use it anywhere, but it also saves you from power outages and when the power flickers. When most of you use your laptop plugged into the outlet, if the power ever stops, the laptop quickly switches between its battery and then back to your wall outlet so it doesn't shut off. It saves you from losing your work, and if you are in the middle of writing data, it will save you from possible data loss or data corruption. This battery backup device is like your laptop battery for devices that don't have their own battery. So desktop PCs, video game consoles, televisions, or basically any other device can be plugged into the backup system to be protected from surges and outages. It saves you from when you get too much or too little power. Most of these systems have two rows of outlets, ones that are surge only and ones that are surge and battery backup. One thing you have to keep in mind is how much power draw the device you plug in uses. If it draws too much power that the battery can't handle, you have to plug it in the surge only. But for most devices like video games, your PC, TVs, these things are made to handle the power required from those devices to be able to back them up. If it's a stormy night, sometimes you get power flickers. In just a split instant, you lose power, the TV might reset, but what's a big deal is that your device, your game console, or your PC is going to be shut down. And now you'll be praying that your previous data or save file didn't get corrupted. What? This is a really big, oh shit, moment that you really don't want to be in. So this battery box here solves that problem. You can get systems that don't have this LCD screen panel, and then you could get better systems that do. You can still plug in the device using a USB. Similar to this device, there's a USB or serial connection here where you can connect it to the computer, run some sort of software, and that software will give you all the information. I personally always get these with the LCD panel because I don't want to have the need to have to plug one of these into the computer just to be able to see this information, and I like to just constantly have this information on display for me. So now with the Xbox and TV plugged into the battery backup outlets, whenever the power cuts or you get a power flicker, there is no interruption. The game console and TV doesn't shut off and you can hear the battery backup click between the battery and then back to the full power during the flicker. So what I like the most about the display is that it tells you the battery capacity as in how charged the battery is it tells you the load capacity, which is how much power is currently being drawn from the device that the battery would have to cover. So right now playing on the Xbox One X and TV, it is using only one of five levels of power draw. And you can see over here, it's currently drawing 119 volts, which is currently 60 hertz here. And the output is currently 144 watts. So you can see it gives you a bunch of information that's just nice to know and have, as well as an estimated runtime with the current power load. So right now running the Xbox One X, I have an estimated, you can see it switch as the Xbox uses more processing power, which means on battery power, I'll be able to play for another 20 minutes before the battery dies. I'm going to unplug just the battery backup to simulate it losing power. So right now the Xbox and TV is being powered by the battery inside the backup and you can hear it beeps every minute. It is to warn you just in case you're not in the room to run in and quickly shut down because you can see here that time is ticking down for the amount of power that the battery has left. If, if the beeping annoys you, it's very easy. You can just hold a mute button and the device will mute. Most different company models and brands have that mute feature. Now these batteries aren't really made to hold a lot of power, they're more made to quickly give you power to keep multiple devices running just long enough so you can properly shut them down. But they are still technically a battery pack, so if you ever find yourself in a long power outage, you can still use this as a like portable phone charger. You can still turn it on and charge small things like your phone. So that's basically it. There are different brands that make different shapes and sizes for these systems, but they're all pretty much alike and work the same way. And they usually have a method of opening the system up to replace the internal battery when it eventually stops working. So I currently own about three of these systems and I've found 
that I need to replace the internal battery between three to five years. So the main thing you just need to look out for if you wanna buy one of these is the amount of power it can handle. Either the volt ampere, like this one's written at the bottom, or the wattage that the device can output. So that is it. This video isn't really sponsored by any of these companies, I just really like these things. I hope this video was informative and thanks for watching.